Hey, what's going on guys? I wanted to give you guys a quick update on what's going on with the stock market and also uh, what's happening with politics. Uh, well, it looks like Michael Bloomberg just dropped out of the race uh, for president. Uh, it's not a surprise. Um, he was getting hammered pretty bad. Uh, it looked like his past was kind of creeping up on him. Um, it looks like he has, um, even though he spent hundreds of millions of dollars um, <laughs> to run for president, he's never going to get a chance to be president. Uh, I'm sure that makes a lot of people happy. Um, I, I don't, you know, the candidates, I don't care much about them one way or the other, but obviously the stop and frisk uh, history of Bloomberg and the racism allegations, things like that, uh, were, were crippling him, and uh, he deserves that. Um, now, at the same time, what also happened last night is that you saw a surge in the stock market, largely due to the dominance of Joe Biden. Uh, it looks like Joe Biden has a real good shot at getting the nomination for president. And uh, a lot of uh, people on, on Wall Street are paying attention to that. Um, today, so far, uh, as of uh, 11 a.m. Eastern, today uh, you've seen um, the market go up about 500 points. And Biden is seen by the market as a better choice than, say, Elizabeth Warren or Bernie Sanders, who are very socialist uh, in their thinking, and they actually scare Wall Street. So um, uh, what I'm seeing here is um, that the... Uh, the, the major averages, according to CNBC, they also got a boost from strong economic data. The U.S. services sector expanded at a faster than expected pace in February. Uh, data from the Institute for Supply Management showed Biden scored key victories in Virginia, North Carolina, Arkansas, given his campaign momentum and increasing his odds of being the Democratic Party's presidential nominee. Biden's delegates totaled 453, which is ahead of Bernie Sanders at 373. Uh, now, uh, to win the nomination, a Democratic candidate must receive support from a majority of delegates, of pledged delegates, at least 1991 of the 3979 pledged delegates. Uh, Tuesday's primary uh, results since health, sent health care stocks flying, but the health care sector traded 3% higher. Many investors have applauded <clears throat> Biden for his middle, middle of the road tact in contrast to the more progressive policies of Sanders and Elizabeth Warren. Quote, Investors fear Bernie because he wants to cut off the head of capitalism by raising taxes significantly on the rich and using the funds to provide free everything to everybody else, said Ed Yardini, president and chief investment strategist at Yardini Research. Uh, getting everything for free trumps freedom, according to Bernie. No wonder investors are reacting to him as though he's going to infect all of us with the virus of socialism. That's interesting. I don't know if socialism is a virus. But I do think that it's it looks better in theory than it does in practice, and uh, and so what what they say about Elizabeth Warren is that stocks will be even more relieved at Warren's coming concession as they are at Biden's big showing. So they're arguing that when Elizabeth Warren finally steps to the side, that the market is going to see a surge. Uh, Wall Street uh, Wall Streeters have always secretly been more afraid of her than anyone else, given her domain expertise. Now, this doesn't mean they still can't have influence, but they wouldn't be president in the United States. Wednesday's move comes after uh, the Fed just made another, uh, had another emergency session. They cut the interest rates by half a percentage point, which was a big cut, but it didn't make much of a difference. The market still went down 780 points yesterday. So what you're really looking at is you're looking at uh, a lot of issues uh, in the market right now in terms of, uh, of, of a lot of volatility, a lot of trading volume, a lot of uh, information that started off as bad information. Now it's more precise information, but it's updating on a regular basis. So it's very dynamic information so uh so just be ready for the ride you know it's going to be it's going to be interesting and those of you who remain consistent i congratulate you because it looks like today uh which is march 4th uh 2020 has been a good day for you so uh i'll keep you guys posted uh, make sure you subscribe to theblackfinancialchannel.com t-h-e that's theblackfinancialchannel.com and feel free to go and uh check out uh, my stock market program if you want to learn more about investing in stocks that's theblackstockmarketprogram.com t-h-e theblackstockmarketprogram.com see you soon i'm dr boyce watkins have a great day bye-bye